In addition to the significant financial and time costs for the people seeking visas, also significant lost chances for trade and the local service economy. But even with several reforms to visa laws in African nations, including Djibouti, Mozambique, and Rwanda, many immigration laws are out of date and do not meet the demands of African individuals and enterprises today. African nations are still isolated from one another, making intercontinental travel challenging. One of the continents in the world with the strictest visa regulations is Africa. This situation is even more restricted for Africans traveling within Africa, as compared to Europeans and North Americans. This is although the number of arrivals to the continent's destinations, and especially intra-African flights, has shown the highest growth globally over the years. It should be noted that obtaining a business visa is frequently more challenging than a tourist visa. Citizens of all African countries were only eligible for visa-free entry or visas upon arrival in five African nations, the Seychelles, Mozambique, Rwanda, Comoros, and Madagascar. Conversely, nationals of all African nations must apply for a visa to enter the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, Equatorial Guinea, Sao Tome, and Sudan. The average percentage of African nations where people need a visa to enter is 60%, the highest percentage is 84% for Somalia and the lowest percentage is 41% for the Gambia. In this video, we will look at some African countries that have completely removed these visa restrictions from their countries, allowing people from all other African countries to visit them without visas. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the follow button to get more exciting updates. Two African countries, Rwanda and Kenya, have recently announced visa-free travel for all Africans. This is a welcome development and a sign of progress towards a more integrated continent. By 2018, Seychelles, a country that relies on tourism was the only nation where visa-free travel for all African countries, as well as to citizens of every nation. However, they recently rescinded Nigeria's visa privileges. In 2019, Gambia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that it is now a visa-free zone for all charter and scheduled flights, Commonwealth nations, EU nations, Africa, the Baltic states, and Belgians with their ID cards are covered by the new visa regulations. In 2019, Patrice Talon, president of Benin, declared that all visa restrictions into the country had been removed. The Benin government took a cue from Rwanda's openness, which ironically did not announce its visa freedom for Africans till 2023. To strengthen commerce and economic connections with other African countries, Kenyan President William Ruto, in October 2023, announced intentions to remove visa restrictions for all African travelers. In November 2023, Rwanda announced plans to allow visa-free entry to others on the continent. The president noted that any African can get on a plane to Rwanda whenever they wish, and they will not pay a thing to enter the East African tourism giant. While 48 African countries grant visa-free travel to the citizens of at least one other African nation, only these five African countries can boast of complete visa-free entry. The move towards visa-free entry has several potential benefits. First, it fosters a sense of unity among Africans. When people can travel freely across borders, they are more likely to see themselves as part of a common community. Second, visa-free travel can boost economic growth. It makes it easier for businesses to operate across borders and for tourists to visit different countries. This can lead to increased trade and investment, as well as job creation. Third, visa-free travel can promote cultural exchange. When people can travel freely, they are more likely to learn about other cultures and build relationships with people from different backgrounds. This can help to reduce prejudice and promote understanding. Restrictions on visas affect the entire economy, especially the travel and tourism industry. There is a significant difference in the growth of tourists between Mauritius and Seychelles. Before 2013, visitors to Seychelles had to apply for visas before arrival. Over the past five years, Seychelles has seen an increase in tourists of 7% annually, while Mauritius has seen essentially no change in visitor numbers. Consequently, the government of Mauritius is attempting to increase tourism by easing visa requirements for 30 African nations as well as 75 other nations. The Africa Visa Openness Index measures the extent to which African countries are open to travelers from other African countries. Published yearly since 2016, the AVOI tracks changes in country scores over time to show how national policies evolve on the freedom of movement across Africa. 
The Africa Visa Openness Index 2023, published on Tuesday, December 12, 2023, reveals much progress since the seventh edition of the report was published in December 2022. The visa openness achieved its highest score ever in 2023, surpassing levels last seen before the COVID-19 pandemic. This is an indication that African countries are beginning to see the implications of visa restrictions to other African countries with the most being economic consequences. There are still challenges to be addressed despite the numerous advancements. One challenge is the need to improve security and border management. Another challenge is the need to ensure that all African countries have the necessary infrastructure in place to support increased tourism and business travel. When traveling from one African country to another, Africans must obtain a visa in advance in over half of the cases, 46%. In Northern and Central Africa, visa requirements are quite severe. Maintaining the current pace of visa liberalization is essential to achieving the goal of Africa we want. Adopting lax visa regulations will not only make travel easier but also greatly increase cross-border investment, commerce in goods and services, and prosperity for all. Implementing any outstanding commitments on visa-free movement within regional economic communities, extending visa-free travel policies to all AU member states, in increments if necessary, streamlining and simplifying any remaining visa procedures and associated cross-border processes, implementing and expanding e-visa systems that use secure, reliable, mobile-friendly platforms with a guaranteed response time, for countries requiring a visa ahead of travel will go a long way to improving the African Visa Openness Index and overall immigration in the African continent. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and leave a comment about what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.